Thank you so much. Uh, good morning to you all. Yeah, Excellencies, good morning, sir. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to join you all today at the Second Epilepsy Alliance Africa Conference, an ideal platform for the continent to reflect on the continuing need for Pan-African solidarity initiatives to prevent and address the challenges caused by epilepsy. I would like to begin by congratulating the organizers and hosts of today's conference who have been instrumental in putting together an engaging program for participants. They say that every great journey begins with one step. When this initiative was launched in December 2019, I'm reliably informed that only 11 associations heeded the call to advance a more joined up approach to the fight against epilepsy. A mere 18 months later, what started off a small has blossomed and gone from strength to strength to become what we see here today. A truly Pan-African initiative that is working to change lives. To achieve this, while contending with the immense health, social and logistical challenges of COVID-19 is nothing short of remarkable. The importance of taking your first step on the journey is not only true for the Eclipse Africa Alliance, Alliance Africa, but has characterized my country's transformational reform since the historic transition in 2018. What started then has in recent days seen millions of Ethiopians vote peacefully in the freest and fairest democratic elections in the nation's history. Last month saw the announcement of the biggest foreign direct investment into the country, which will see the liberalization of the state dominated telecom sector and an investment of $8 billion over the next decade. In health, the second health sector transformation plan builds on existing progress and aspires to drastically scale up improvement in public health through the realization of accelerated progress towards universal health care by 2025. As part of this transformation, for the first time in Ethiopia's history, special focus has been paid to the prevention and management of non-communicable diseases by integrating services within the primary health care system. I'm confident that this will prove an important next step in the fight against epilepsy and other neurological conditions that have to this point been hugely underfunded and underprioritized. It's my hope that the EAA, the EAA can continue to build on the great strides that it has made in the last 18 months in order to continue to advocate on behalf of the estim estimated 10 million Africans that are affected by epilepsy. It's only through the combined efforts of the medical profession, the private sector, and the state institutions that we can make reality the aspirations of African solutions to the many health challenges that affect our continent. Finally, if I may, I sincerely invite the EAA to host the next edition of this conference in Africa's diplomatic capital, Addis Ababa, the home of the African Union, and the bastion of pan-Africanism. I wish you the very best and every success in the deliberations to come. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I think uh, we all need to applaud that statement. It's a beautiful one from, uh, ex from His Excellency. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, we'll have a lot of them. Uh, thank you very much for supporting the organization. Mm -hmm.